From the studios of KSBI Television in Oklahoma City, this is Oklahoma's High School Academic Challenge Bowl. Teams from your favorite Oklahoma schools compete for school pride and thousands of dollars in prize money. Made possible by the Chickasaw Nation. This is the Telly Award winning Mind Games, the high school edition. With your host, Ed Murray. And welcome to this week's high school edition of Mind Games. We have reached the final four. Tonight we have another battle of brains for cash prizes courtesy of the Chickasaw Nation and Ward Petroleum. Tonight's winner goes on to the championship game. First of all, to my right, we have Edmund Santa Fe. Farther from me is Jacob Rowe. He is a senior. In the middle is the captain, Cameron Jackson. He also is a senior. And closest to me, Josh Fultz. He, too, is a senior. Going up against Edmund Santa Fe, we have the defending champions, UConn. Farthest from me is Tristan Lee, a senior. In the middle is the captain, Colton Box, a junior. And closest to me is Nathan Woodcock. He is a senior. Good luck, gentlemen. The uh, rules, very simple. We have two toss-up rounds with bonus questions. Players earn money for each correct answer, and that amount goes up in each round. If a team interrupts a question and gets it wrong, the other team will get $10. There's also a Ward Petroleum bonus question worth an extra $250. We'll give $10 at the time and $240 at the end of the game. There are also two flash rounds. We begin the match with a quick flash round. We flipped a coin before we got started. Edmund Santa Fe, you were the winner of that coin flip. You will go first. Cameron, I need you to give me the answers, but again, you can talk about it before giving it to me. You ready? 30 seconds on the clock and go. Venezuela is on the Pacific Ocean. Correct. China, India, and Japan all still have the death penalty. False. True. False. Incorrect. Adonis died in Aphrodite's arms. True. True. Correct. Collage and montage mean the same thing. False. False. Correct. True. Invasion of the Body Snatchers was the first 3D movie. True. 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 That is incorrect. Metamora is a play inspired by Last of the Mohicans. True. True. Correct. Charlize Theron did not speak False. English. That is incorrect. She, uh, let's see, our false statements, Venezuela's on the Atlantic, not the Pacific. And let's see, collage and montage are different. Collage is an assemblage, often glued. Montage, usually uh, a sequence only. Also, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, it was uh, Buona Devil was the first 3D. Just saw that the other night. No, not really. And uh, those are only false statements. You've got uh, four right, so up to uh, $40 to get things started. Yukon, you ready to go? Oh, yeah. Colton, again, I'll need you to give me the uh, correct response, or a response. I'll let you know if they're correct or not. 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go. TLC Say Yes to the Dress is about cross-dressing. False. False. Correct. Dennis Rodman went to Sweden after leaving North Korea in January. False. Correct. Dipole TV antennas are called rabbit ears. True. Correct. Abstract art is a type of representational art. False. Correct. Sinbad went on seven voyages. True. True. Correct. Marissa Mayer is CEO of Twitter. False. Correct. The rod of Asclepius is the ancient symbol of law enforcement. True. Incorrect. The iris is the white of your eyes. False. Correct. Britain returned. Oh, we didn't quite get to that one. Uh, say yes to the dress is about wedding dresses, not cross-dressing. Then we went to Dennis Rodman. I was worried about this flash round. He actually went into alcohol rehab. Didn't go to Sweden after North Korea. Uh, abstract art is uh, opposites, not representational art. Uh, Yahoo. Marissa Mayer, Yahoo, not Twitter. And let's see, Rodus Sclepius is medicine, not law enforcement. And the iris, it's the uh, colored disc, not the white of your eyes. All right, Yukon, you're off to the lead. $70, $40 for Edmund Santa Fe. Time for the toss-up. Six minutes, 12 questions, whichever comes first. Hands on the buzzers. Here we go. Current events. Larry J. Merlo is CEO of this company that has been shifting its focus from retail to services. What drugstore chain will stop selling cigarettes? It's uh, Edmund Santa Fe, Josh. CVS Pharmacy. And expand to its uh, Minute Clinics, CVS. Your current events bonus. What Fortune 500 company has had Satya Nadella as the, at the helm since February 2014? Satya Nadella. Microsoft? Microsoft. Microsoft it is. <laughs> Josh, nice guess. Here we go. Geography, toss up. These far-flung, culturally grouped islands include some of the last places to be settled by humans before the modern era. New Zealand, Samoa, Tonga, Santa Fe, Cameron. Sandwich Islands? That is incorrect. I can finish the question for Yukon. New Zealand, Samoa, Tonga, and Hawaii are all part of what region? Colton. The Ring of Fire? No, they're all Polynesia. 
is the region that we needed, Geog geography. All right, we have an image now for this history question. So both teams take a look at the monitor here in the studio for history. A contemporary song rhymed his name with the lines Ajax of war and they spout and they roar. Name this leader of a namesake rebellion in the early 1840s in Rhode Island. Rhymes with war and roar, it's door. Uh, Thomas Wilson Door. All right, humanities, toss up question. Madagascar's main language, Malagasy, resembles languages found in this equatorial Asian nation. What is this fourth most populous nation, home to several of the world's Santa Fe Cameron? Indonesia. Several of the world's largest islands, Indonesia. Your humanities bonus. Madagascar's native primates include many species of lemurs, which are found nowhere else. Lemur comes from a word used in Roman mythology for what supernatural entities? I need an answer. Actually, ghosts. If you think of a lemur's face, they're kind of ghosty like. All right, science, toss up. Oxygen types are ozone and peroxides like sodium perborate. Chlorine types are chlorine gas and aqueous hypochlorites. What laundry day term refers, refers to chemicals which remove colors or disinfect Santa Fe Jacob? Bleach. Or disinfect objects. Bleach is what we were looking for. Your science bonus. For a thermometer, you use ice water, and for a scale, you use a known weight. By measuring a known quantity or standard, you can adjust to gain more accurate results. What is this process called? Standardization. 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 Judge? Judge is going to think about that one for a minute, and uh, we have to rule it's incorrect. Calibration, specifically calibration is what we needed. All right, so that theme music means it's time for our War Petroleum Oklahoma history question. A correct answer is worth $10 now, additional 240 at the end of the game. We always begin with the team to my right. Very tight match, an important $10 here coming up. Uh, again, uh, this is a multiple choice. Cameron, you'll need to give me the answer. You can discuss it. Which commander led the winning side in the Battle of Round Mountain? A, Confederate Colonel Douglas Cooper, B, Union Colonel William Weir, C, Chief Opothliahola. A. A. It was a Confederate victory. The Confederates rode the Union right out of the state. So that is correct. You get the extra money at the end of the game as well. All right, Yukon, for $10 now, 240 later. Which of the following did the Oklahoma Organic Act of 1890 accomplish? A, set the boundaries of Oklahoma Territory, B, regulated farming practices, C, outlawed pesticides on Indian lands. B. It's actually A. It's uh, set the boundaries of Oklahoma Territory. All right, literature, toss-up, buzzers, everybody. Some of the characters in this book have mathematical names, like Lord Tangent and Lady Circumference. What Evelyn Waugh title comes from three words of an Edward Gibbon title. Yukon, Nathan. Sine, cosine, tangent? That is incorrect. I have finished the question, however, Santa Fe. Jacob. The Phantom Toll Booth? No, it's actually decline and fall. Is the wall work, decline and fall, the Roman Empire, the Gibbon work. All right, history, toss up. Jules Gued and Jean Jaurès founded political parties in France with this name, in 1902. The current incarnation began in 1969. What is this party of French President Francois Hollande? It's uh, Santa Fe and it's J Josh. Socialist. The Socialist Party, Parti Socialiste. All right, your history bonus. What member of France's Socialist Party is the longest serving president of France under the Fifth Republic, serving from 1981 to 1995? Sarkozy. Sarkozy. Actually, it's another Francois, Mitterrand. So, uh, Francois is the way to go if you're going to president of France. All right, literature, toss up. George Walton recently argued that the first word of this poem has been mistranslated. What should not mean listen or so as Seamus Heaney rendered it? Santa Fe, Josh. Beowulf. What is this old English epic poem? It is Beowulf. Your literature bonus. 
What Boccaccio work consists of 100 tales? Decameron. Deca, 100. Deca Decameron is correct. Your pop culture. Toss up. What name is shared by a 2006 slasher movie set in a sorority during winter break and a Thomas Altman book about murders in the Yuletide? It also names the surrender of Hong Kong. Santa Fe, Josh. Black Christmas. Well, there's a lot of nasty looking Christmas in there, wasn't it? December 25th, 1941, for the surrender of Hong Kong. Here's your pop culture bonus. It was based on a 1961 gospel stage musical written by Langston Hughes that includes traditional hymns and spirituals. What 2013 movie starred Jennifer Hudson, Angela Bassett, and Forrest Whitaker? Black Nativity. Black Nativity. Black Nativity. Everybody's nodding their head in agreement on that one. And that brings us to the end of the first round. A good match underway, as you would expect in the final four, the semifinal matchup. Edmund Santa Fe, $125. UConn, $80. Flash round coming up next. They're on Nine Games High School Edition. We get it. Your time equals money. And if you can't get to work, you can't get paid. Why would you want to stay all day at a dealership? We hear you loud and clear, Oklahoma. Now you can shop from work or home. Just visit us at thekeyonline.com and complete our easy online application. It usually takes about 15 minutes. Once you're approved, you can select your vehicle from our online inventory and we'll have it waiting for you. And don't worry about bad credit financing. We do that too. The key. Cars. Loans. Life. Ingalls Shipbuilding is hiring electricians, structural welders, machinists, ship fitters, pipe fitters, and pipe welders in our Pascagoula, Mississippi site. Signing bonuses available for pipe welders only. Positions are union represented. Come build your career with Ingalls Shipbuilding. Go to www.huntingtonengles.com slash careers or call 888-935-1507. Does being over 40 make you feel like half the man you used to be? Introducing Ageless Male, a life-changing supplement for men. Test it to help increase testosterone levels. You'll notice a boost in your energy levels, workouts work, sex life improves. It's like a light switch goes on. Why not increase your testosterone? Get Ageless Male now, risk-free. Call 1-800-729-1136. That's 1-800-729-1136. Are you looking for a common sense approach to better health? I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is my wife Cindy. Watch Your Health Weekdays here on KSBI. Your Health features daily health news, holistic health experts, insights into dietary supplements, and on-air answers to your health calls. And join me in the kitchen as we make healthy foods to restore your health and vitality. That's weekdays at 8 a.m. right here on KSBI. Sometimes bad guys make the best good guys. The rich and powerful take what they want, we take it back. It's 20 pounds of crazy in a five pound bag. <laughs> Let's go and talk somewhere a little less formal, eh? Hey? Oh! Come on, babe. I'm just very good at what I do. You just kill a guy with an appetizer? Maybe. We provide leverage. Sunday at 7 on My KSBI. Welcome back to this semifinal matchup on Mind Games High School Edition. Edmund Santa Fe has the lead after round one, $125 to $80. For UConn, we have a couple of new players for this round. First of all, for UConn, closest to me is Christian Loveland. I'm sorry, farthest from me is Christian Loveland. He is a junior. And over here for Santa Fe, farthest from me is Brandon Wong. He is a senior. Uh, Stephen Coppin is a senior. He is the captain for this round. And captain, we're going to put you right to work because you're in the lead. You're going to go first in this flash round. One minute. And Stephen, I'll need you to give me the answers, but you can discuss it. You ready to go, guys? 60 seconds on the clock and go. Richard Montgomery was an American general in the Revolution. False. Incorrect. In the Pathetic Symphony, there is a waltz instead of a scherzo. True. True. Correct. Lloyd, little Lloyd Fauntleroy is by the author of The Secret Garden. False. False. Incorrect. Jennifer Lopez's infamous Grammys dress was by Gucci. True. In, uh, incorrect. Voltage is a measure of temperature. False. Correct. The East River touches Manhattan. True. Correct. Richard Arkwright designed the sewing machine. False. Correct. The Warring States periods in China and Japan were concurrent. False. Correct. The Cat in the Hat came out the same year as On the Road. 
true. True. Correct. Killing Servius was Hercules' first labor. False. Correct. Janet Jackson's solo debut album was 1986 Control. True. True. Correct. A Southwest flight landed at the wrong Missouri airport in January. True. Correct. Dadaist art is intentionally absurd. True. True. Correct. A rhombus is a type of True. parallelogram. Correct. Orion was killed True. by a sea. That is incorrect. <laughs> Almost got one word from being done and said sea monster, but uh, you jumped in there. Let's see. False statements. Uh, Jennifer Lopez's Grammy's dress was Versace. Uh, voltage measure of temperature. It's electric charge and a current. Uh, Ardwright was the pioneer of the spinning industry, like the cotton gin, or co uh, turning cotton to yarn, not the sewing machine. Uh, warring states periods, China and Japan were not concurrent. Japan was later. Uh, Hercules captured Serbius, and it was his last labor, not his first. And while they're false, we got, almost got to it. Orion was killed by a scorpion, not a sea monster. So $235 for Edmund Santa Fe. Yukon, you ready to go? Again, uh, Colton, I'll need you to give me the answers. 60 seconds on the clock. And go. The Aurorica Symphony is in the key of B minor. True. Incorrect. The Burgundian Duke Philip III was known as the Bald. True. Incorrect. Southern Cal's football team plays home games in the Rolls Bowl. False. Correct. All Scandinavian countries use the Euro. False. Correct. The book Flatland was published by a square. False. Incorrect. Robert E. Lee invented Morse code. False. Correct. Henry Stanley named Lake Victoria. True. Incorrect. Obsession is a Calvin Klein fragrance. True. Correct. The new Fed chairman is a woman. False. False. Incorrect. Myolica is a type of ceramic glaze. True. Correct. Water boils at 80 degrees Celsius. False. Correct. The Choctaw fought at Little Bighorn. False. Correct. Jorge Luis Borges wrote the Library of Babel. True. Correct. Hungarian is an Indo-European language. False. Correct. The Soviets won the 1943 Battle of Kursk. True. Correct. You got to all 15 questions. And our false statements, uh, heroic sympathies in E flat major instead of uh, B minor. Uh, it was uh, Philip the Good, not Philip the Bald, although he might have been bald. Uh, let's see. Uh, only Finland uses the euro of the Scandinavian countries. Samuel Morris invented the Morris Code. John Speak named Lake Victoria. Uh, water boils 100 degrees Celsius. Cheyenne Sioux Arapaho fought at Little Bighorn, not the Choctaw. And uh, Uralic uh, language for Hungarian, not Indo-European. A uh, good uh, round for you, Yukon. Especially a little rough start there, and you overcame it. Got on a roll. $180 for Yukon. Edmund Santa Fe, $235. It all comes down to round three. We're going to double the dollar values in this semifinal matchup of Mind Games High School Edition. More home, less money, happy clients? You bet. Very satisfied. I, I loved every bit of it. We had a lot of fun together building this house together. Your home's in your hands, you build it. Still wanting to quit smoking? Kick your ash with the vape bar. E-Cig kits start at $19.99 and come with a free e-liquid. Does your e-Cig need repair? The vape bar fixes simple repairs for free or repairs any vape for under $7. If it can't be fixed, use your repair cost towards any new product from the vape bar. Start kicking your ash today at the vape bar. The vape bar has two locations, an OKC at Northwest Expressway in MacArthur or at 12th and Eastern and more. Visit the vape bar on Facebook and kick your ash today. The vape bar. If you want to shed the fat and sculpt your body to get that slim, sexy look of your dreams, then you need to stop working out. Say what? And start rocking out with Rockin' Body, the fun new body makeover system that was created by fitness expert and insanity creator Sean T. Rockin' Body combines dance and fitness in a fun new way so you can achieve insane weight loss. I lost 30 pounds. Dancing. Now you can tone and tighten your abs, shrink and shape your hips and thighs, and lift and firm your booty, all while you're just dancing. I've lost 33 pounds. I feel sexy. And now, for a limited time, the complete $80 Rock and Body system is 75% off. That's right, Rock and Body is only $19.95. We'll even upgrade you to express shipping free. Get the complete Rock and Body system for only $19.95. Call 1 800 891 9746 or order online at rockandbody.com. 1-800-891-9746. Call now. How much better would you look with dramatically whiter teeth? Dentists use professional gels that dramatically whiten teeth, but it can cost hundreds of dollars for professional gel. Until now, for a limited time, you can order White Brilliance Pro Gel with clinical strength whitening technology direct from National Dental Supply without visiting the dentist. 
In an independent study by Good Housekeeping Magazine, the leading lightning strips and gels were tested against the original White Brilliance Professional Gel. And it was rated whitest and brightest and awarded best results overall. And this new Pro Gel is even more effective. With a 40% boost in power, call now for your free sample of ProGel. You'll never be charged for it, and you don't have to return it. The only reason we can give free samples is because we know that once you see your dramatic whitening results, you'll want to order more. Call 1-800-978-1742. That's 978-1742. Better home, better price, happy quiet, you bet, with You Build It. I would do this again in a heartbeat. Very satisfying. Your home's in your hands. You build it. Welcome back to this final four match of Mind Games High School Edition. Edmund Santa Fe, $235. UConn, $180. It all comes down to this round to advance to the championship match. Five minutes, 11 questions. Point values are doubled. Ready to go, guys? Here we go. Toss up. Fine arts. We have an image for you. Take a look at the big screen. Again, fine arts. In an atypical representation of her, Yukon, Nathan. Mary Magdalene. The, uh, this is a Donatello dressed her as a hermit, but still emphasized her long hair. Mary Magdalene is a correct response. Your fine arts bonus, also an image. So, Yukon, take a look at the screen. What three Latin words meaning don't touch me name this Fra Angelico painting and many others showing the same scene of the newly resurrected Christ? I just knew that first one. <laughs> Called it? It's uh, Noli Me Tangere. Noli, noli Me Tangere. My Latin isn't very good either. All right, hands on the buzzers. Humanities. They originated with a parlor game played during the Edo period. What are these Japanese folk tales that often involve ghosts seeking vengeance against either a specific person or humanity in general? Yukon, Nathan. Yokai? That is incorrect. Santa Fe, I have finished the question. Josh. Ukiyo A. No, it's actually called uh, Kaidon. Kaidon. All right, fine arts, and this is an audio, fine arts audio, so take a listen. <laughs> He wrote about 70 love letters to Camilla Struslova, who really wasn't interested. He also wrote intimate letters, his string quartet number two. Who was this Czech composer? Santa Fe, Josh. Bartok. That is incorrect. Yukon, I have finished the question. Nathan. Stoyevich? No, it was actually Janacek. Janacek. Literature, toss up. She fixes on Gilbert Osmond as a suitable match and marries him. Who is this Henry James creation, protagonist of Portrait of a Lady? Her name brings to mind bows and arrows. Santa Fe, Josh. Sheath. That's incorrect. Yukon, Nathan. Archer. Archer is the correct response. Isabel Archer. Literature bonus. What Theodore Dreiser title character has the surname Mieber? John. Actually, it was Sister Carrie. Sister Carrie. Science. Toss up. It may not have a spiral shape, but has a closed surface circulation. Noah assigns an in invest number until maximum sustained winds reach 39 miles per hour. What is this precursor to a tropical storm? Yukon, Colton. Tropical depression. Tropical depression. Your science bonus now. Off the southeast coast of Newfoundland, the warm Gulf Stream and the cold Labrador current mix, creating an upwelling of nutrients from the undersea plateaus. What is this rich fishing ground called? I need an answer, Colton. Uh, Northeastern crab grounds? It's actually called the uh, Grand Banks. The Grand Banks. Geography. Again, a good tight match going. Geography. What name is shared by the male protagonist in Paul Bowles' novel, The Sheltering Sky, and the capital of Papua New Guinea? Port Mosby. Moresby. Science. Toss up. Between 1993 and 1997, it played 22 chess games before its retirement. 
What IBM, Yukon, Colton? Deep Blue. It was known as Chip Test, Deep Blue, better known. Science bonus, James Gosling developed this programming language in 1995. Much of its syntax is from C. What programming language requires the end user to have a client program called JRE or JVM to run its applets? Java. Java is the name. Your pop culture bonus, uh, toss up, both teams. And what sweet tooth board game involving color matching, Santa Fe, Josh? Candyland? Has Gloppy, Grandma Nut, and Princess Frostine, Candyland. Your pop culture bonus. The name of his signature candy is derived from Greek, meaning sweet root. Who is the red and black clad villain of Candyland? Licorice. Licorice. Judge, do I need more information? I need more information. Licorice. Lord Licorice. Lord Licorice is the name of the villain. Your current events toss up. He's the president of Answers in Genesis and Kentucky's Creation Museum. What young earth creationist did Bill Knight, Santa Fe, Josh? Ham. Ken Ham uh, debated uh, the science guy. Current events bonus. What former American Idol contestant has announced a bid for one of North Carolina's congressional seats? Aiken. Aiken? Yeah. Aiken. Clay Aiken is that person. Your history, oh, we don't have time. And on that last response, Edmund Santa Fe, you have advanced to the championship game. UConn, what a match. We'll wrap things up when we return here on Mind Games High School Edition. Uh-oh, you're behind the wheel and the sun is so bright you're blinded by the light and can't see a thing. Your visor doesn't stop it, so you dare to drive right into the glare. Stop blinding sun and dangerous glare with Easy View XT, the amazing fast flip-down glare blocker that blocks sun glare in a split second. Just slide Easy View XT onto any visor and that's it. It stays sure and secure, no tools or assembly required. With just a flip, you've got the sun and glare neutralizing protection you need at your fingertips. Traditional car sun visors block your view and impede your vision. Easy View XT is made of clear acrylic that you can see right through with a perfect tint to diffuse light and glare so you can keep the road ahead in clear view. Look, morning sun makes it impossible to see, but you always have a clear view with Easy View XT. With late afternoon glare, you can't see what's ahead, but with Easy View XT, you'll be amazed at what you'll see instead. It even reduces glare from oncoming headlights at night. I drive my kids from school every afternoon directly into the sun, but now with Easy View XT, I can actually see and keep my family safe. I drive nearly a hundred miles each day for work, and with Easy View XT, I never have to squint into the sun. With Easy View XT, I'm a lot more comfortable and confident behind the wheel. I won't even put my rig in gear without my Easy View XT in it. Stop squinting and gazing into the sun and glare. Get the Easy View XT glare blocker so you can actually see. And right now it's yours for just $10. Whether it's early morning sun, blinding afternoon light, or diffusing headlight glare at night, you'll use Easy View XT driving everywhere. And there's more. Order right now and we'll double the offer and send a second Easy View XT for the passenger side, and it's yours free. Just pay separate processing and handling. You get two Easy View XT glare blockers, a $30 value for just $10. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-478-3181. That's 1-800-478-3181, or go to EasyViewXT.com. Order now. Oklahomans are famous for taking care of our own. It's called the Oklahoma Standard. Right now, more than 8,000 Oklahoma children are in the foster care system. There is an urgent need for foster parents, especially for teenagers, sibling groups, and children with special medical needs. Let me urge you to change a child's lifetime. Become a foster or adoptive parent today. Visit okbridgefamilies.com or call 1-800-376-9729. It came down to the final question, and we will have a new champion on Mind Games this year. Edmund Santa Fe wins at 305, UConn 290. Edmund Santa Fe got the Ward Petroleum question as well, so 545 for this trip. UConn 290 this trip to add to your winnings. Eight consecutive wins. It is a record on Mind Games. Congratulations. You held up UConn so well as defending champions. And again, it came down to the final question. Edmund Santa Fe, you're headed to the finals. We'll see you in a couple of weeks and find out who you're going up against. Congratulations. Thank you for watching Mind Games. So long, everyone. Mind Games is a production of KSBI Television in Oklahoma City, made possible by the Chickasaw Nation.